Hi Tuners! Welcome to Stage X Academy. In this series, we are going to give you practical knowledge on how to do various calibrations on your own. In every episode, step by step, we will be presenting on what you need to do to get things done in an easy and fast way and how to benefit from all Stage X features. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at the gearbox display topic using as an example the 2017 BMW 5 Series. In most cars, equipped with automatic transmissions, the display of individual gears takes place only in special modes, such as sport, race, or manual mode. However, most drivers prefer to always be aware of what gear they are currently in. That is why today, we will show you how to activate this function easily and quickly, using the Stage X software. We will present which maps are responsible for displaying each driving mode and how to get through the process of calibration. The method we present is available for every type of 8 HP gearbox. Let's get into it. Okay, great. Now we can start processing the file in Stage X. On the left side of the Stage X screen, we can find all maps available for our ECU. For today's modification, we will focus on maps from the Gear Display group. First, we'll look at maps called Gear Source Choice for Display. These are maps that determine the source from which the currently displayed gear is downloaded. It may be the gear number, depending on the bit setting in the given map, suggested, current, recommended, or calculated. Usually, we want all displayed gears to be calculated from the actual gear that is currently used. In this case, we want to change the numbers in the blocks to a fixed value. In our case, it will be the number 3. This digit is responsible for the information that the currently displayed gear on the display is taken from the actual value of the gear used and not that it is, for example, artificially calculated. At this point, there are many options for changing the values in gear source choice of display map. Today, we will present the one that is the most effective for our case. But do not be afraid to experiment on your own to test other options for editing values in columns provided by Stage X. So, left-click to select all values in columns. Then right-click to open a context menu. Left-click on Change Absolute. Set the decimal value to 3 and click the red Change button. Great! Now we can see that all values in this map have been changed to 3. But we still need to change all the values in the remaining gear source choice for display maps in this TCU the same way as a moment ago. We can spot them right beneath the map that we already modified. They have a yellow glow now. To make our work faster in this area, we will use a tool called Change Similar Maps. When previous values are still selected, you can tell that because they have blue filter on them, again click the right mouse button on them, and then list with options for changing values will again appear. But now, instead of clicking again and change absolute option, we're gonna left click the change similar maps option. Right here select absolute copy. Next select all maps, gear source choice for display, and click the change button we automatically modify the remaining gear source choice for display maps. Thanks to this option, we saved a lot of valuable time. Alternatively, we would have to repeat this action manually on each map separately. When we have finished changing all gear source configuration for display maps, we can then go to the editing process of the last map in this subfolder, which is located just below the previously edited maps. It is called Gear Display Configurations, it is a bitmap that configures the in-car gear display settings. We currently have various values in the map columns. Usually we want to set the value to decimal 2. So, select, as in the previous maps, all values. Pick option change absolute and set the value to decimal 2. And now, when we made all necessary modifications to our gear display maps, we can save our file. Let's name it gear display. Next. Let's export our modified TCU file. Done. At this point, we are ready to save our file directly to the BMW TCU, achieving the desired effect in the car. Let's do it together and check the effects of our work. done. 
As you can see, everything went our way and we achieved the desired effect in a very simple and quick way. That's all we have in this episode of Stage X Academy. Remember that we are always active in the comments section, so if you have any questions or ideas about what you would like to see in future, please let us know. See ya at your next tune.